Good evening, everybody. In high school basketball, the Atumwa girls were looking for their third straight win as they hosted Hoover. Atumwa in white. Olivia Rourke was on fire for the Bulldogs. Not once, but twice. Jung would counter at the other end for Hoover. Close game, but Rourke couldn't do it all. Atumwa falls by four. 31 to 27. Let's head down Highway 34. That's where the Fairfield boys hosted Davis County. Fairfield in white. Landon Gamrath hits the hook shot in the lane. Great touch. Davis County counters with Park Michaels. Davis County would go on to win it on the road 53 to 49. Let's go back to girls action. La Plata was hosting Brashear. La Plata in white. Nice give and go. Hannah Larson would get the basket. Meredith Thomas says, hey, I can do it too. She gets them back for Brashear. In the end, La Plata would go on to win a close game. The final 28 to 21. In other girls games, Pekin beat Iowa Mennonite 41-40. It was Van Buren 62, Cardinal 28. Schuyler County beat North Shelby by 10. It was Central Lee 64, Harmony 21. Novager bounced Bevere 36-29. And boys play Kirksill lost to Mexico 62-42. Knox County mauled Milan 56-16. Putnam County Stopped Scotland County 72 to 60. Dion Hunt scored his 1,000th point tonight. Bevere got by Nobinger 67 46, and it was La Plata 75, Brashear 54. Last night, the Kirksville girls defeated a pretty good Mexico squad by 32 on the road. We started out strong in the first quarter. Um, we got into Nicole Cook a lot, and which was our goal. Um, we also fast breaked, which got us ahead. And Ashton Borking played really good defense on Brooke Costley, which helped. Let's hit the mats in high school wrestling. Kirksville was home to take on Moberly. Kirksville's Ethan Wrenchler started the night with a pin at 106 pounds. Next up, the Tigers' Brandon Beeler scored a 7-3 decision at 126 pounds. Mitch Kriegsheiser trailed going into the third period, but the senior rallied to get the fall. Great effort as he didn't quit. Great match. Moving to 170 pounds, Kirk Seals, Kyle and Eastley got the fall against Nathan Sowers, and the route was on. The pin parade would continue as McKenna Cook, who has had a great year so far, made it look easy at 182 pounds. Next up, Cade Proctor scored a decision at 195 pounds. It could have gone either way, but Proctor made it look good. And Logan Summers would get the pin at 220 pounds. Kirksville defeated Moberly by the score of 48 to 25. Albia is having a great year. The Blue Demons were hosting Grinnell and Centerville. It was a milestone night for Brett and Shadow Leshen as they both won their 100th match. You're looking at Brett's match. He was dominating in that match against Centerville. Folks, you know what? Our email is out. We didn't get a score, but you know what? Camity will have the final results for you on CBS 3.2 tomorrow night at 6.30.